Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1076. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video we have either numbers or text values that represent year, month, day, hour, minute and even seconds. And we need to convert the date and time parts of this to proper serial numbers. Dates are integers, number of days since December 31st, 1899. And time are serial numbers that are decimals that represent the proportion of a 24-hour day. So how in the world do we do that? Actually, I've done two a number of videos, one of them just on getting the time value and one of them just on getting the date value. And you can look at those if you want more detail about the individual parts. But we're going to mash both of these tricks together all in one formula. It involves using the text function. Now, the text function can take numbers or text and apply a custom number formatting and convert it to text, comma. And here's the magic. For the date part, we're actually going to steal a number formatting from the social security numbers. It's 000, so four zeros, dash, two zeros, dash, two zeros. That will get just the date part of it. Then we type a space, and we're going to do the time part of it, 00, zero and a forward slash to insert a single character colon, and then 00. zero forward slash to insert a single character. Whichever character you type after this will be inserted, and then 0, 0. I close this off with double quotes. That whole thing it is amazing custom number formatting that will give us exactly what we want. 2014 with the month 2, the day 12, hour 11, minute 51, and seconds 56. If I copy this down, this is going to work all the way, except for that's text. So now I'm going to, with the whole range highlighted, the active cell at the top, I'm going to hit F2 and edit this formula. Any math operation on a number stored as text will convert it back to a number. So I'm going to add 0 and Control Enter to populate that edited formula all the way down. Now actually, it probably will show up like this. I had that formatting. So the final step, and you could see the integer part and the time part is the decimal. But we need to now format the cells, Control-1. And we're going to come down to Custom and simply type this out. Here we use the proper date and time number format, which is however you want to display it. I'm going to show month slash day slash year and then a space, hour, hour, colon, minute, minute, colon, second, second. And there it will dis be displayed. And you can put, if you wanted to see the full year here, you'd put four Ys or three Ys. If you wanted to see a leading zero, you'd put two Ms, however you want to show it. I'm going to show it just that way. Click OK. So we have converted from our either number or text value that represents dates and times. We use the text formula, custom number formatting, adding a 0, and then some custom number formatting on the cells. We'll see you next video.